So this is the Vico S30. It's their sport model of a 30 foot boat. This is the boat that got me flying over to Europe to, to check it out. I had heard about it, I'd seen it in pictures, um, but, but I, and I've seen some other reviews, but I real, I need to get aboard myself because the I, we were looking for a boat that the cockpit was really, really big and plenty spacious enough to have a crowd sail aboard um, in a 30 foot package, but also had a nicely appointed down below area for um, for overnighting or weekending with a couple or maybe a, um, a couple of the friends also. And I, it was almost too good to be true at this, pro at this price point. So I went over to Europe and found the boat. This yacht was everything I was hoping to find in a 30 foot package. The price point was actually significantly lower than anything else that's on the market out there. Um, and she's very nicely done. She's not ostentatious. The business plan that they have with the Vico factories, they want to build a simple yacht that's affordable, but also performs well. These wing seats in the aft are very nice perch for your crew members to, to, to hang out. Uh, I also like the wheel steering configuration on this with the binnacle. Now she comes standard with a tiller steering, but uh, it's definitely well worth the upgrade to have the, the centerline wheel with the binnacle. Let's go ahead and go forward and take a look at the foredeck. I think one thing Vico did very well is the nice wide side decks. I feel very secure walking up and down this boat from the stern all the way up to the bow. Um, I've seen a lot of boats in the size range have very narrow side decks while the designers are trying to create the most volume possible down below. Vico didn't seem to do that. They made the decks very, very safe and, and wide. Plus you walk forward in the foredeck is very secure too. It has a, a nice bow platform up here, anchor locker to get all your ground tackle stowed nicely. And then the, the bow sprit uh, is an add-on, but it really helps if you have the spinnaker. Uh, that's where you fly the spinnaker from or the jenniker that it comes with. I really like having the stack pack on the Vico 30. Um, stack pack com combined with the, the lazy jacks, the mainsail just falls right into the bag and zipper up, no worrying about flaking or trying to get the, uh, the sail bag back over top of it. Let's go ahead and head below and take a look, take a look at the layout. Down below, I'm really pleased with the simplicity yet um, elegance of how the yacht is put together and designed. Um, really nice enclosed V-berth forward. Uh, double doors clo enclose that to make them um, for, for some, a lot of privacy. Uh, the salon is, it's smaller. I mentioned that the, the, the side decks are very, very wide. And so you don't have the volume that you have in some of the other designers, but I like how they're not trying to make a, you know, a 35 to 40 foot bo um, boat out of a 30 foot yacht. And so it's very proportional to the size of the boat. It looks very nice um, and she sails very well. The performance is amazing. So there's plenty of room down here, standing headroom throughout um, until you move forward and um, enough room to, uh, with a really large table to have um, several people down here for a meal. Plenty of room for overnighting or weekending. And then the galley, we'll take a look at the galley next. And then the head is enclosed with a shower and a marine toilet. Galley's nicely appointed. This one has a refrigerator, two burner propane stove, uh, sink with pressure water, and plenty of storage for, for weekending. Let's take a look inside this head. I'm really pleased with the size of the, the amount of room inside here for a 30 foot boat. Um, there's room for a stand up shower and shower sump, marine head with holding tank, um, sink, and then there's plenty of storage behind the mirrors in the, in the back. The aft cabin has an enormous space, huge bunk back here, sitting headroom on the starboard side and the port side. A little shallow in here um, under the cockpit, but again, for a 30 foot boat to have this much room is amazing. There's some storage here. There's a nice big locker um, as you first come into the, um, the cabin on the starboard side. There's good access to the engine on three sides from the forward of the, store, the, the stairs open up and you get access there. And then two cabins so you can get to the aft part and the starboard side of the engine. So the draft on this is about five feet, but if you need a boat for shallower waters, she does come in a lifting keel um, variation, which has a bulk keel. Well, it nicely performs, but it lifts up and draws less than three feet of water. That would give you a good configuration if you have a dock or something that you need to get into where there's less than, less than four feet. Favorite features of the Vico S30 is the enormous cockpit, nice wide side decks, sailing performance, simplicity of the layout down below. She's nicely appointed and also she's a very value-based value yacht, comes at a very nice price point. If you like the video, hit the like button, follow us for more sailing tips and boat reviews.